Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass and welcome to a windy Wales. Yesterday I was with the supercar driver guys at their track day, the beautiful Anglesey circuit and my friends over at SMC Automotive gave me a call. You might remember SMC when I went to visit them earlier this year and fell in love with one of their Land Rover Defenders. Well, they said, why don't we meet you tomorrow at the Evo Triangle? So I was like, sounds like a fantastic idea. The Jag is parked up, I am on a beautiful picturesque part of the triangle and awaiting the two guys from SMC. The guys have now arrived in two stupidly loud cars. So you may remember the 360 Spider from my previous video with SMC. It has got a stupidly loud exhaust. I banged on and on and on and on and on and on about how it basically sounded like a loud challenge to Dali. That car is going to be amazing to follow, but then this GT3 RS has straight pipes. Straight pipes. These two things are gonna deafen me. Expecting this to be slightly mental, we are now going to go for a quick cruise before we head back to the unit to check out all of SMC's updates. But these two cars, and to be honest, my car, is going to make quite a bit of noise in the local area. Let's do this. Oh, that 360. Let's crack the window a little bit, actually. I'll open that one there. It looks so great in white as well, the 360. Oh, oh my god, that Porsche! Oh. Standard 360 over the Challenge for Dali for being ugly, but that one looks so cool. I think it's because it's white. Ooh. Oh my god, the soundtrack! made it to SMC HQ. So as I say, you may remember this from 
my Land Rover Defender video earlier in this year. Well, since that video, there have been some rather major changes taking place. SMC has now grown, and this is basically now what they're calling Automotive Court. It's three companies that have come together, and it is one big company, but also a mecca for everything you could need from car ownership. So behind me, as I say, is still SMC's main unit, which is now basically the showroom. We're gonna pop inside there very shortly because there are some insane cars. However, over here, we have GT Cars, which is a official service center for everything from Ferraris to Maseratis to Porsches to Alfa Romeos. Again, we're gonna pop in there very shortly. And then over here is APM Customs, which is a complete modification and customization unit. So you can come here as your one-stop shop to basically everything, buy your car, have it serviced, and then customize it. <laughs> it is the dream. But as I say, I think the first things first is we have to head inside the showroom to check out, for me, the Defenders, because this is like a porn hub for me. So here we go into the main showroom, SMC, and the first things first, yes, there are supercars which we will get onto, but you may or may not remember the white double cab defender that I fell in love with last time I was here. Well, it's now black, <laughs> which makes it look cool, makes it look stealth. I get that. Unfortunately, the car has been sold, not to me, somebody else, and their condition was make it black. So fair enough, but I preferred it white. There are still a whole load of insane defenders hanging around, including this beast, which I just think is one of the best things that money can buy. Far too big for any ordinary use, but just looking awesome. And another white defender back there, but that is not a double cab. I want the open back so I can film some stuff. Anyway, last time we concentrated massively on defenders. This time, let's concentrate on the supercars. A huge amount of stock has been sold since I was last here. However, as you can see, there are still some really cool cars. Fresh in and freshly sold, a 991 GTS. A car that I think is really cool at the minute. And a car that you can make sound silly with the right exhaust. We've got some madly modified 4x4s. Various tuning companies, the guys here, fit body kits and things like that. You've got the Speciale that was here before, that also has been sold. And then we have the amazing 355 with the Fiorano handling pack that I completely got obsessed with last time. And then new in that I haven't seen is this. Lamborghini Gallardo Nera. One of like 180 cars in the world, I think. This car is crazy rare. Really cool with the sort of satin matte black accents. And again, already sold. They go through cars here so quickly. Things come in and out of stock before you know it. However, I'm glad that there are a few things still lurking around from my previous trip, mainly that 355, because I think it's amazing. I'm sad that this is still here and that I didn't buy it, but... Anyway, so yeah, the showroom is full of amazing stock, amazing defenders, awesome supercars. What I really want to show you, though, apart from this kind of stuff, is all of the new bits, the bits across the road. So you come out of the showroom, and as I say, literally walk across Automotive Court, hello, to their two new arms. You've got GT Cars, which is the service center. And then across here, you've got AP Customs, which is the customization center. So, first off first, let's head into GT Cars because <laughs> there are some pretty cool cars inside GT Cars. Turbo S up on the ramp, so this is a full Geo ramp. It's got geo laser guided alignment ramp. Apparently, this is an absolutely mad bit of kit and it is so precise and exact, it got thrown off by roadworks happening down the road. <laughs> but yeah, some insane cars in here and it is such an immaculate space. That is what is blowing me away when we first came in here. I know it's all relatively new, but so OCD, clean and tidy, and cool cars is coming in and out. Apparently, they had a Testarossa in here a little bit earlier this week. And then we finally move next door to the customization center, which is, as I say, APM Customs, one of the cleanest customization units I've ever seen.
But obviously, my main love whenever I come down here is still the Defenders, and there are so many here that caught my eye the minute we pulled in. But I love that this is now this kind of one-stop shop for everything that you could possibly need. I very rarely come up to this part of the world. We are in the northwest of the UK, or England, kind of near Liverpool. Um, but I feel like I want to. I feel like I want to come up here more. I want to buy a car here. I want to service it and I want to customise it. <laughs> um, they did a big launch event, which unfortunately I couldn't attend with a pretty awesome turnout. But all in all, it's been a wicked day. It's been awesome to catch up with these guys. I'm so glad they got in touch and said, do you want to go for a bit of a hoon and come and check out the new units? Because I did and, and now I've done it. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Plenty more videos to come this month. Give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed seeing mainly that ridiculously loud GT3 RS. So recently I've been asking myself the question, should I sell my F-Type? Oh, just saying it makes me so sad. 